Hi, Phil from statisticsmentor.com and today I'm going to show you how to convert a continuous variable into a factor, otherwise known as a categorical variable. I'm going to do it on this variable called effort. Now this effort here is continuous or scale. Sometimes we may want to confirm whether R is seeing something as a factor or as a continuous variable. We can check to see whether the variable in question is a factor or not by using is.factor followed by the name of the variable. So CBR here, dollar sign, access the effort in CBR. So is effort a factor? False. So R does not see effort as a factor. So then it's continuous, but we can check that by that it's continuous by using this command is dot numeric and then the variable. True. So R views effort as a continuous variable. To divide up effort, which is continuous, into groups we use the cut command so the and the syntax is cut followed by the name of the variable comma and then break br for short for break equals concatenate and now here we put in it's of the form um, x is big bigger than the lower number so here I put minus one and less than or equal to the next number 4.67 so that's one group the next group will be that x is bigger than 4.67 and less than or equal to the next one which is 14.7 and then the final category will be x is bigger than 14.7 and less than 23 so the first number is that it is greater than this number but less than equal to the next number. Okay, so now I have created one, two, three groups. And what this has done is it will look at each of these and see is it between first, second or third intervals and then classify them accordingly. So let's see what we've created. G effort. So there you go. So the first observation here, Bolivia, effort is zero. So that falls into the first group because it's between minus one and four point six seven. And so on. Why don't we just check to see that R views this now as a factor? Is numeric false? Is it a factor? Yes. Let's get a frequency table of effort. So we see that in the first group there's seven observations, second group there's six, the final group seven. So they're kind of equally balanced. There are 20 observations here and they're about equally balanced. I'm going to show you later on then how did I pick these numbers minus one, four point six, seven, fourteen points in such a way that these are equally uh, equal, almost equal observations in each interval. But first, let's give more meaningful names to these uh, intervals. We can do it using the labels command. So we just do the same, use a cut again as before, cut to com command, uh, but we append onto it labels. Let's call the first group weak, next one mod for moderate, final one strong. Okay, now we see same table with labels, more, more meaningful labels. Next, I'm going to move on to how can we create, what happen, how do we create groups of equal intervals? So here the intervals are not equal. The first example I showed you, the intervals are selected in such a way they're about the same observations in each level of my factor. So I want to create equal intervals. I can do that using a cut but instead of choo choosing the, uh, the cutoff points I just put three. I just want three equally spaced intervals. 
Now indeed if we look at the table of the, what's happened here now, we can see that the intervals, e 